I am going to do a slightly different format, I think, for this demonstration today. Um, I'm going to be working on this area here, and it hopefully will look like that. What I'll do is I'll put a picture up beside it so that you can see me working on it. It's not going to look exactly the same. It doesn't need to look exactly the same as the, as the photograph. But I just want to show you how I'm going to do it in the quickest but most effective way possible. So that's what I'm going to work on, just that area there. To start on the area, what I'm going to do is put in the darks. I've got to make sure that I don't go too dark because if you go too dark on it, it's sometimes difficult to pull it back again and get that sort of vibrance. So let's get going on it. Just mix in a sort of a darker green in there and trying to compare that to what we've got in the photograph. And right at the bottom here, seems to be a bit darker. I'm not going to do it exactly the same. For example, there's an area there that looks like a, a rock in there. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I probably won't put that in. I don't think that really adds to the photograph. So now just lightening up a little bit. This area seems to have this area seems to be a bit more mauve, a bit cooler. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of cobalt blue and the uh, dioxine purple. Now with this, I've mixed in a little bit of liquid with it as well, just to get it to flow. Um, so I just make sure that I don't put too much in it, so that because if you do, you won't get the coverage and you need for it to be quite sort of dark there. And now we're going to bring this area up here. I'll add a little bit more liquid. Now that's a really cool green, so I'm going to add a bit more of the cobalt blue and some thalo, thalo green. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go over the hole area quite like I did here. I'm just going to do more of a sort of dab. Cool that down a little bit more. Now if that's too dark, which it is, I can add a little bit more liquid so that you can it's more of a the glaze and then you're picking up the colours underneath a bit more so it's not so strong. Already that's starting to look a little bit like it so that's that's a good sign. So now I'm going to get going on some of the detail in the darker area here. It's quite subtle, the detail in here. So I'm just using uh, just the white spirit thinner to so we'll thin out the paint for this, no liquid. Just getting in a mishmash of different lines and in all different directions. So to get these lines <clears throat> really thin, I'm just using the very tip of the brush. 
making sure there's enough white spirit on there to get the sharp line. So I'm just going to build up on the lightness in this area here. Just over the whole thing, I'm going to continue doing this and you've got a lot of mauvey, sort of grey mauvey stalks and things here. We'll get this area in and move on to that. Right now, although actually no, look at that. I was going to say I'm going to get working on the other colours here, but there's still quite a few more greens in this bit. Build that up a little bit more. In fact, there's some warmer, sort of more straw coloured greens in there too. Going in for the grey colour here now, just building up on that. So although now there's probably more to do in this area here, I'm just going to get some of this worked in up here. It's difficult to see exactly what it is. It looks a little bit like it's sort of bramble leaves with a sort of a, a frosty edge to them. see exactly what they are actually. We're just having to make it up a little bit and see how that pans out.
Right, so we're certainly, certainly getting there with it. Let me now start introducing a bit of that frost. Now it's quite sort of greeny blue that, in fact it's probably even a bit bluer than that, and a bit lighter. Let's see what we can do. So that's the tops, the frost will sort of caught the tops of each of the each of the leaves and So getting near to finishing it now, just add in some sort of cooler and darker blues in the sort of shaded areas. Um, obviously, we've got the rest of the foreground to do, so I'll be working on that today, but I think we're sort of certainly looking close enough. It's not exact, but it doesn't need to be. Oh, there you go, a little side. Well, there you go, a little side-by-side -side comparison there. A uh, little bit of a, a different way of doing things. Um, if you liked seeing the subject matter um, and the reference material, if you like seeing the painting and the reference material in the same shot, let me know and I can do more of that. Um, but focusing on one small area at a time, I think, is quite good because it allows me to give you more of an in-depth uh, demonstration um, in a shorter time but okay it's not a hundred percent perfect it's not hyper real but it is it's good enough um, for what I'm doing I'm looking to do it sort of fairly quickly as well um, but yeah quite pleased with it so as I say let me know what you think put in a comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and you haven't already and um, I shall see you in the next video so see you soon <laughs>